upcoming video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a standard bolt, some zip ties, instead of concrete or wall or whatever anchors or even tap cons to attach anything to concrete to where you can still remove it. So stay tuned. Let's go. Kind of cheap, kind of easy. Hey everybody, I'm out here in a section of my shop that for the winter time I need to find a place to store a bunch of paint and chemicals and everything else. And inside of there is just a unfinished door that goes into the shop part. See? Um, two layers of tarp inside a secured building, but two layers of tarp and, I don't know, a couple inches of uh, fiberglass. And that's kind of the insulation factor. But I'm out here and what I'm working on is here's the big section of the shop out here. So I've just came out eight feet and I'm just using these heavy um, 16 gauge metal studs. And I'm putting one on the floor. And then over here, I'm gonna use these little light 24 gauge. These are the older style, so they're 24, not 25. See, these are literally 50 year old studs, never been used. But the quandary is how do you make those little uh, screws like that a temporary because they only come with this little screw now this is for quarter inch and they only come with that little bitty screw and it wasn't grabbing so you see over here it was not grabbing into the concrete and I don't want uh, to hammer in the uh, the permanent anchors that I normally use and these are longer versions for two by fours I do have some shorter but I don't want to hammer those in and because they're hell to get out. Um, then we'll hold a tornado. So, um, back over here where I decided to make the video. Now, you're going to see something right there, and I'm going to drill a hole that we haven't done yet here. And right now, you can see this is loose, and that is with this one having a screw all the way down. But I want you to look. See that? Even shooting it down, it holds nothing. So most of these little poly anchors, now I don't have one that's, this is supposed to be for everything, drywall, concrete, you name it. And it's supposed to hold 65 pounds. It's, and it's just, the only reason I'm even putting them in is so that the wall doesn't get kicked out because I'm just going to put foam, one inch foam on the outside of it and then drape the whole thing in a tarp to kind of air gap, air seal it. And, um, I've run into a problem with I want this removable, okay? So as it goes to the enclosed part of the building over there and back over here to enclosed part of a building, I've got the big Chieftain Winnebago sitting back here. And I don't want to put it out in the cold, out in the weather. So I'm building something just big enough, eight foot by 15 or 16 feet, eight by 16 to store all my chemicals in this winter inside the shop. Now, this will get loud. I'll turn the volume down for it. And when you put this on here, you want to make sure you step down. Yeah, look at look at him work shoes. I'm like nine dollars. Um, so I want to run this down. Okay. All right. Now, of course, I made that go really fast and turn the volume down because otherwise there'd be people clicking like hell to go see the. Uh, the latest sports video now you have a way that you can put these down using nothing more than a standard quarter inch even you don't have to have it a self starter it's just what I got handy 3h drive and just a quarter inch the way you do this of course is knock your uh, excess cuttings out of there and you're going to take what's nothing more than nylon zip ties you see that in precise and cut you some sections about the length of that bolt and you don't want to shove them all the way down okay get them just about to the bottom and what they'll do is they'll make a beautiful set of locking threads in the concrete and being nylon they'll never go bad so I'm going to take this very heavy stainless steel bolt 
I'm going to put some weight on this with my foot and I'm going to start that in. Now it's going to bear down. This, this thing really locks in like you wouldn't believe. So it's going to make a little noise and I'll turn the volume down for that. Now, you just saw zip ties turned into concrete anchors. How you like that? All right. So I got this one over here. I pulled it loose. And you can listen. I want to make sure that I leave full volume this time. So you can hear. Let me get me a little piece here. So you can hear the, uh, the way that this thing bears down when that bolt is getting buried down in there. So volume, full volume right now. And you're going to see this, this thing bow down. You see that the threads try to kick it up but there and for proof it ain't going nowhere now i put these on about i don't know two and a half foot centers so that i can secure this down and have something to attach some airtight effect to it but this is inside the building but you can use this method anywhere and i've used this in the past before for holding down uh full-size carports and of course for that I'll use a little longer bolt and I'll use like four strips of that. But what it does is it gets inside that hole and it actually completely builds up a bulk in that concrete and you can't pull it back out. And that's just using zip ties. Learn how to save money because you can find these bolts, you know, scattered on job sites and everything else. And you pick them up for, I don't know, probably, I don't know, 50 of them for $7. This right here, these right here, almost a buck a piece. To do the same thing and these are stainless this is just uh i don't know zinc and something all right now you'll see the finished product right here this is all of them doing this little cut in intro because i want you to know that if you don't have nice wide ones you can put two or three of these in trial and error just do a little trial and error, and you'll find out what works best. All right, now we'll return to the video. There you go, guys. A little secret from the house pokey builds. We'll be seeing something with that pretty soon with some cool batteries, so y'all stay tuned. Y'all be good, guys.